What is up guys, Mike H. Mimo here, and welcome to my YouTube channel, and most of all, welcome to episode 8, part 2 of my Gothic 1 playthrough, The Path of Balear. So uh, let's go to the remaining focus stones. Death number five or six, I'm not quite sure, but I think it was five. If I didn't have got one in the last video, the previous part, but uh, if that is the case, you know, the timestamps will eventually tell the truth. surprised that I'm uh, already able to handle these little buggers.
not uh, too much. Normally I will take the route around this, you know, because uh, my character is most of the time not ready for this. But uh, as a powerful belly art, this guy has OP strength, which makes him capable of doing stuff. Oh shit, it goes over. Hey Milton, what are you doing here? the honor of magic. See you later. So he goes to this area after beating. Oh, I see. Okay, so I have to test something out, guys. Now what I believe is, at the moment, after I get the uh, focus stones and before I will deliver them to Saturus, they are gonna meet up here, all of them, Gorn, Diego, Lester, and Milton. I'm gonna try and see if that is indeed the case. Because that would explain quite a lot on why in Gothic 2 this guy knows that, you know, meeting location. Uh, shall I take that route? It's gonna be hard. But I have Milton to back me up. Yeah, I'm getting a bit too cocky, guys. But no worries. The deaths will still count, of course. Did I add the death? I think I did. I've never, never knew that uh, they would actually meet, after collecting the focus stones, they would ma meet there. Maybe that will give some bonus XP or something. So I'm gonna test it out. But even I learn new stuff, as you can see.
I need to go up there and then through there I can go to the uh, to the um, second location where we'll find Lester but I'm a bit worried about all those orcs it's gonna be too many to handle and I don't want to continue on the you know much of the Check if there is a way around. <laughs> that just got me to trouble again. <laughs> Bye. I'm the champion. So that was not a, not a relatively smart option to do. There were many orcs there. But either way, I do have to get around them, so I'm gonna stick to pokey pokey. I can also take this route down here and then climb on top, you know. That warrior nearly killed me. All right, so let's go to Leicester and the third location of the focus. The first one was Nyres, the second one was at the Ring of Stone with Milton. The third one is going to be Lester at the, you know, I'm not quite sure, one of the old mansions, I think. I think it's one of those old mansions. And um, then we're going to find a number four, which is a Gorn at the Monastery of the Temple Ruins of Adenos. And then we're going to go to Diego. And then I will quickly go to this area, the meeting point where Milton was sitting at to see if all four of them goes there just before they will uh, you know go back to their original camps and as the whole situation crumbles I can go to the old camp and get myself the fourth circle which I have to do before all shit hits the van okay I do have a mace like weapon for a golem up here I'm gonna take as many critters along the way as I can because I still have quite a few things to learn. This is the location where you will meet Urshak. That's uh, about chapter 5. <laughs> Uh, chapter 5, Chapter 4, where you have to uh, go and fight Zardus. Ok, 
Okay, so the golem spawns later. Good to know. Swords don't well work well versus golems. Find Lester over there. We are be at that building over there in the in the mountain. The next one is going to be um, the one at the monastery of Eno of uh, Adonis. The priests of Adonis used to live there. They worshipped animals, aka druids slash rangers. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to play Gothic 2, Path of Balion. It will allow me explain a few things. <laughs> about um, why I disprove with the in-game law itself on who is and isn't the true servant of Enos. But I will come to that once I will play Gothic 2 just at the moment where I will join the Monastery of Fire. I will explain you guys then, you know, what I mean and why I disprove. Because it's uh, related to the tears of Enos. <laughs> So the faster I get can get to Gothic 2, the faster the better, and the faster I can explain you guys on what I mean exactly. I'm gonna kick your ass with my smithing hammer. May the sleeper... Hey, what are you doing here? I came here by order of the Magicians of Water. I'm looking for magical artifacts, so-called focus stones. You're looking for the focus stones? You're really brave. Satyrus and the other magicians from the new camp want to use it to detonate the barrier in order to free us from this imprisonment. I'll believe that when I see it with my own eyes. I feel the same, but tell me, why did you come here? I'm weighing up if it's worthwhile paying a visit to the mountain fort. You know, there is a document I'd like to get. On the other hand, it's quite risky to go in there. 
How did you manage to get past that living mountain? I've learned a lot from the gurus. Their magic can be really helpful. This document you're looking for, what is it? Many years ago, the lord of this area lived in this mountain fort. He controlled the land and the mines. Like any other aristocrat, he had, of course, a document to verify his tenure. And I'll get this document. But as long as we're being kept in here by the barrier, it won't be worth anything. That's right. But if the water mages manage to destroy the barrier, the document might become quite valuable again. We could have a look around the fort together. That's a good idea. You go first. I'll stay near you. You got it, man. I got you. I got this. Good, you're still with me. Alright, let's go, let's uh, let's kick these critters some ours. Oh right, harpies. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go and have a look up there. You do that, man. I'm gonna cover the ground floor. Skeletons in kicking ass mode. Look at this, look at this. They're booked. They have weapons, but they don't use their weapons. You gotta love Gothic's boogeyness. This area is clear. Let's clear the up areas. Before I will go to that area, I'm first going to go up here. But uh, this ladder is going to be booked, so uh, if you want to get up here, time your jumping right. Which is tricky. Now 
Look at him. Let's get the chest up here, then go down again, kill the harpies, and go one down, one level more down, kill the harpies over there. Open the chest, get documents, give it to Lester. I thought, oh, I would survive that. Nope. Karma, my friend. Is a effing bitch. Have you found anything? The chest over there is locked. Maybe we can find the key somewhere in this fort. Have you found the document yet? No, not yet. Did you have a look around the library? Indeed, that I did. I only found a key, which opens that chest. But let me first clear the area. <laughs> Nothing whatsoever. Lame. Let's go. I found the document. Hey, well done! Take these magic scrolls as a reward. With them, you'll be able to reach the focus. I'll wait for you down by the focus platform. No, 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 me first. Still, but I'm waiting on that. Now both of us have what we wanted. I'll stay here to read the old books. We'll meet again. Okay. Well, at least he's out of his bogeyness.
May the sleep... Alright, so that one was done. Just making doubly sure, you know. But, um, alright, so let's go to the next focus stone, which is with Gorn, which is going to be at the Monastery of Adanos. Well, the battered remain of the man Monastery of Adanos. Because it was used by people who worship the god that could turn into animals, which is Adanos. thought for a second and I was gonna die again. Good thing I didn't. One of the lizard is always bugged on under the ground. It will be repurposely spawned if you can hear him. You know, or he will be repurposely spawned if you leave the area after his bugginess triggered. Let's go to Gorn and then I will let me first no I will do that before I will go to Diego. Let me I want to go to the Monastery of Fire and uh actually the Magicians of Fire to get my last circle, which is the fourth circle, and then with the water mage I'm gonna do the fifth circle, and with the Sardis I'm gonna do the sixth circle. The unifications of the circles. to uh, represent what they used to be. Sorry me lads, was thirsty, so I had to uh, drink. <laughs> along the way. Nice. Nearly level up again. Now whether I will or will not be max level I will show you guys 
the true power of Belial when it comes to XP exploiting using the um, summoning magic scrolls of the skeletons, demons, golems, and an army of darkness who we use for other purposes. <laughs> the learning points into at this current moment I do not know yet um, but I think dexterity because uh, even as a mage you are dexterity required <laughs> The more dexterity your character has, the, the quicker he costs with magic, the quicker he costs, um, you know, he shoots with the bow slash crossbow, so all three paths have always have the need of dexterity. At least with Risen, it, it's in that case, you know, especially when it comes to magic, um, so when you have high dexterity, your casting time will be sh shorter. And uh, since this guy has a relatively low amount of death, his casting time is relatively slow. <laughs> but first, first I will get his strength to up about 100, give it or take, and then his uh, dexterity to as high as possible. Since this guy doesn't have to learn the bow or the crossbow. Eventually I probably will still learn them. You know, maybe not. But um, in Gothic 2 you automatically have 10%. Which is most of the time I train both. important stats and then the minor details Job, Gorn. Hi, Greenhorn. As you can see, the colony is quite a small place. You can't help bumping into people all the time. What are you doing here? Oh, I'm trying to track down an old legend. A uh, legend? Yes. Milton, my pal from the old camp, told me that monks used to live here. Of course, that was long before the barrier was created. It said they worshipped a god who gave them the power to turn into animals. I'm sure there are still treasures from the old times here. What brings you here? I'm looking for a magic focus. It must be somewhere in this area. The thing you're looking for might be in the old ruined monastery beyond the canyon. We could go on together. Good idea. This area is crowded with snappers. When they're on their own, they're no problem for an experienced hunter. Most of the time they hunt in packs, though. A pack can even tear the cleverest sword fighter to pieces. So we'll go together? Okay, but before we cross this log, I'd like to examine the canyon. I'd like to know what's at my back. Come with me. I've discovered a path which will take us there. Sure thing, man. Going too fast for you, sir. Let's go, man. 
That's what I call luck. Apparently, this used to be a storage cave. Why don't you take the lead now? I just wanted to make sure that we won't be surprised on our return trip. But before you do so, open them hiccups, this chest. You will need the uh, meat bug transformation spell. Let's go, Gorn. I'll keep in mind, NPCs uh, like to get boogie. So uh, just make sure you walk all the way around so that there is no wall, no rocks, no nothing you can glitch behind. Come on, buddy. I haven't got the entire day. As you can see, I make large, you know, around it, large circles so that he won't get stuck. Let's go going. This damn gate. They say nobody in the colony has ever been able to open it. The little beasts over there seem to be the only ones who have managed to get into the inner yard. All the critters inside these, I believe, are former members of this area here, since they can transform into critters. Didn't they transform into critters before the whole shit went into the van? Could be. Who knows? Oh well, let's get inside. Uh, it could be that the structure of the barrier caused their magic to be permanent. Because uh, before the barrier was created, long before the barrier, this entire area was, you know, were lived by uh, servants of Adonis. And uh, they transform into animals to appease their god. And uh, I believe personally that because of the creation of the barrier and the um, significant failure within the magic itself which expanded the barrier because of the presence of the sleeper, their magic became permanent, but I'm not entirely sure. You actually managed to open the gate. 
That spell of yours was real clever. And on we go. Come on. Because why else would, you know, how else would these snappers enter here? I'm just saying. <laughs> and how else can the troll stand up that plateau at uh, about chapter 5? <laughs> Adenos with ancient magic. The one with Adenos magical capabilities could transform into animals of any form as long as his magic knowledge, ancient knowledge was high enough just by looking at it. So maybe transform into a troll by looking at the troll down here you know and then transform into a troll. How, how else would a troll get up there? I'm just saying wouldn't make sense if it's just a randomly spawned troll. There's a bit more behind it, I think. But I could be wrong, of course, you know, I'm not saying that it is 100% true, but due to circum circumstances. <laughs> Normally but my other two pals I literally need Gorn's help with this shadow beast. But this guy is so strong in strength. Which makes it all of it easy peasy. So you found your magic artifact. Yeah, I have to take the focus to the magicians of water. They need it. I'll accompany you for a while. Let's go, man. Let's see how I will do versus that troll, because that's also one of the points where I literally have to let go and do the thing. Because my character would never damage them. Except this one of course, but... I don't think that my damage will be that great. Oh hell! What monster's that over there? Oh, where did that come from? Looks like one of those virtually invincible trolls, only smaller. Whatever. If we want to get out of here, we have to get past that beast. That was hard work. Yeah, we defeated that monster. But if that was just a young troll... Then you'd rather not bump into its parents, huh? Something like that. 
This is where we go our separate ways. I want to stay here for a while and have a look around, but I'm sure we'll meet again. See you later, my friend. See you later, my friend. Now let me let me check something, because there's a pillar up here, and I know you can, uh, you know, let the pillar fall because it has a cut in it, so that you re ugh, you can reach the other side to get the chest. It is connected to a certain animal. I personally believe it's the lurker. Um, but I'm not entirely sure. This one is pretty much booked as human being. Since you can't do anything with it. But if I'm correctly, it should be one of the transformation magical capabilities. It certainly is no meat bug. It could be a scavenger and it could be a mole rat. But I personally believe it was the, snap, uh, the uh, lurker. So let's give it a try. I don't know. I know it was possible though, but I think you had to stand on this side, which will make it uh, nearly impossible. But I do know it's possible. I think what I said, you know, it's the lurker. Normally people would go and uh, take the blood fly spell scroll, you know. You transform into blood fly, fly up here, and then go through the mountains up here, and then fall down there. But I know it's possible to get that pillar down. Maybe some swings of the blade or something. No, I don't need it. I personally believe it's the lurker. can't target it so I, I, I guess it's not you know with uh that ah, doesn't really matter Got a lot of karma. For the honor of magic. Now since I still have to collect one, I can deliver these three, get myself some new, a new spell scroll just before I will deliver the fourth one. I will go to the uh, old camp and uh, get myself magic circle four and see if I can get the armor, the heavy guards armor. If I can't get the heavy guards armor, I will know how to get it and I will show you guys how to get it but uh, that requires me to test something which I haven't done in a long time which is not switching side after being kicking out, kicked out of the old camp. I found a focus in the mountain fort. Hmm, that's a start. You're doing well. There are still three focus stones missing to accomplish our plan. Now go and look out for the remaining focus stones. I see you've used up the teleportation scroll. Here, take a new one. I found a focus in the ruined monastery. Gorn the mercenary was there. He gave me a hand in searching. Good. That's the second focus stone you've brought us. We're getting closer and closer to our target. Be brave and fetch the two remaining focus stones. I found a focus under the ring of stone. Unbelievable. Now we have four focus stones altogether. There's only one more missing. Then we'll have them all. You've already done our community a great service. Get the last focus stone, and we'll soon be able to free ourselves. May you return in one piece? May I return in one piece? 
Now we need 25 learning points for the fourth circle. And since it's gonna take me a while before I actually gonna to join the water mages due to a certain uh, uh, some sort of a hidden you know hidden quest which uh, it, how should I say it is uh, connected to the raid on the free mine. Um, so before you are gonna enter the free mine, do not switch aside. It will uh, get you access back into the old camp without the need of bloodshed. And you can take care of Gomez yourself. Um, shall I invest? I'm gonna invest um, 25, I have 55, so I have 30 available into strength. Let's get this guy some more strength. Because those under the power of Beliar have the highest strength of all. So in Gothic 3, this guy will have around. Rely on somebody in your Well, it depends, it depends. Because uh, I still have to figure out how many levels I need to get this guy perfect. But uh, this guy will be mostly. In Gothic 1 and Gothic 2, he will be mostly built on brute strength, you know, and in Gothic 3 will be mostly powerful in the arts of magic, Maybe. especially okay. early game. Late game he will have uh, tremendous capabilities, Paul. I want to better myself. That's not really my problem. It's obvious that there'd be trouble ahead. You're at the end of your possibilities. You should learn something different. There must be something about that story after all. It was obvious there would be trouble ahead. Thought that had been cleared up ages ago. 100 strength reached. I doubt it's ever likely to change. 31 per loaning points left, so let's train dexterity by 6. Am I saying it correct? Yeah, six. I want people always rely on somebody, and you're in trouble. And I've just barely enough to get to, to the fourth circle, because, uh, like I said, it's gonna be a while before I will actually join the fifth circle, which will uh, cost me thirty learning points, and the um, last circle will co cost me about forty, I think. But max strength has been reached, which is good. Let's get myself the last focus stone, the one with Diego. You looking for trouble with me again? How are you, my friend? Oh man, what do you want? I've had a really bad day, and I'm looking for a way to relieve my tension. Just stay like that for a minute. You really like taking advantage of me, don't you? Come okay, on, okay! Bitch. The fight's been decided! He's had enough! I was hoping you would do that, Rice Lord. Thank you. Let's uh, see if I can talk with the ratio. Probably not, but... I'm sorry. You should have thought of that before, boy. Thought so. I messed up You'll that quest. For that. But it's fine. You know, I don't need his strength. Already reached a hundred. Oh, 
I better let's talk about it. All right, so let's go to Gorn. Uh, Gorn. Diego. Let me wear this armor for now. It represents Enos and I do and do not support Enos. I support Balear. The god of destruction. few snappers before you reach Gorn. Why do I keep saying Gorn? It's Diego. God damn it. But uh, we should be able to handle them. At least. I hope so. 100 strength. The only thing that I have to worry about is my arm. I am alright. And the cave below here. Acrobatics. Hey, I thought you were dead. Sometimes I thought so myself. A lot of things have happened since we last met. I hear you've contributed a great deal to the final invocation. Obviously, you're quite well informed. Better than you think. Now you're looking for the focus? Yes, there must be one somewhere around here. I know where to find one. There's just one problem. I see. W what do you want? You've really learned your lesson, but that's not what I meant. No? What's the problem then? It's three tons of a problem. Let's go. You'll understand in a moment. He's referring to the whole Ian's list, you know.
On the left side of this canyon lies the entrance to a cave that leads to the location of the focus. All right, but first we have to get rid of that monster over there. Try to find a weak point or another possibility to defeat the troll. I'll attract his attention. Now you could use the uh, shrink scroll on The, you know, scroll of shrink monster. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna see if I can kick his ass without. See what happens. I've got the immortal Diego as a punching bag. That was fantastic! You're really good! And now, go get the focus. I'll make sure that there won't be any other awkward surprises. If you use the spell score, you will say, you know, that spell was really clever of you. So the answer is kind of the same, but kind of the, you know, kind of different. The winch seems to be jammed. Let me see. Maybe I can fix it. If you want to open the gate yourself, just make sure to bring along some mole rat fat. Well, it ought to work now. Get the focus, and I'll wait for you here. Okay. There will be about five harpies here. Three, four. <laughs> to the old camp before I will deliver the last focus stone to Saturus. Hey, you found the focus! Very good! I think it's time for me to stop by at the old camp again. Good luck. Make sure you stay alive. We'll meet again. Take care. See you later, Jimmy, friend. All right, so let's quickly go. Quickly go to the old camp. It gets the fourth circle of magic. And uh, 
then I will deliver the focus stones to Saturas and thus enter chapter 4 and that's where Gomez's little assassination party begins <laughs> So in chapter 3 I died 9 times, so that's 6 in total. Which means that I can now reset the death count to 0. But I will do that with the next death, it will go from 9 to 1. So let's first see if I can report into A. Gomez, B. Raven, probably not, already did that, so... I doubt it, but it's worth a check. And uh, then I will quickly join the final circle of magic. Hello? Let me pass! Hello? Hello, friend. Why doesn't he treat me so lame? But they have nothing to say, so... That's good, I suppose. I'd better keep out of it. So let's quickly go to Caristo and learn the fourth circle of magic. For the honor of magic. For the honor of Maho. I am ready to enter the fourth circle. You have completed the first three circles. Now is the time for you to learn the secrets of magic. The magic of the runes is based on the stone. They are magic stones created out of magic ore. It's the same ore which is collected in the mines. This ore is endowed with magic formulas in the temples. There the runes are converted to the instruments of our power. With the runes you control now, you have the entire knowledge of the temples of the realm at your fingertips. You have now learned everything I can teach you. Understand the magic, then you'll discover the secret of power. Already have the high rope of fire, so don't need it. But uh, that is done, let's quickly check at stone. I don't think I will be able to purchase the heavy armor. But Hello? I will at some point. I need better armor. You can have it when you're ready for it, and only if you have enough ore. I want a heavy guard's armor. Only the upper class. I'll see ya. Alright, so that one is done. So, not yet. So let's go to the Magician's of Water. Chapter begin.
For the honor of magic. For the honor of Maho. I found a focus in the Troll Canyon. Brilliant. Now we have all five focus stones. Your deeds are invaluable to our camp. Be assured of my eternal gratitude. Go to Riordian now. He'll give you something for your immense efforts. Speak to Kronos, the Keeper of the Ore as well. He'll give you another gift from our community. Can you blast the Ore Mound now? We now have all the artifacts we need to fulfill our plan. But the barrier was created by 12 magicians. There are not enough magicians in the Circle of Water to control the powerful energies and to guide them onto the right course. What can we do? I'm aware that you've already done much for our community. We owe you greatly. But in the interest of all the inhabitants of the colony, I need to ask one more favor of you. One more favor? Yes. Go to the old camp and try to win some of the magicians of the Circle of Fire for our cause. Magicians of fire? Why should they want to give up their easy life? The destruction of the barrier would rob them of their powerful position. That is the exact reason why you must accomplish this mission. You know people from all the camps of the colony. Remind the magicians of fire of the old times, when we studied the arts of magic together. All right then, I'll try to convince the magicians of fire. But I can't promise anything. It seems nearly impossible to me. You must try. If you do not succeed in this, there is only one other, just one... One what? Forget it. You must succeed. Here, take this magic rune. Hand it over to Coristo, the High Magician of the Circle of Fire, as a sign of our trust. With this, he can teleport into this room without passing the guards any time he wants. I hope that it will convince our former friends of our good intentions. May you return in one piece? Alright guys, so that's the end of the episode. So I want to thank you guys for watching and if you like what you see, thumbs it up or if you didn't like what you see, thumbs it down. Leave positive feedback behind or negative feedback, anything that can help me to improve my channel. And if you subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell to be up -note, updated, noted whenever I upload a video, which could drive you crazy because sometimes I upload a lot. But uh, it will surely let you guys know that all the videos that I'll pop up, you know, that I upload will be notified if you do hit the notification bell. So I hope to see you guys in the next episode where we're gonna go to the old camp and see if we can win over the fire magicians, which we cannot due to a certain events. But that's for the next episode. So see you guys next time.